Hello and welcome to another episode of the Kufi Weekly and today we're talking about Lebanon and I know whenever we talk about Lebanon the main topic of discussion is Hezbollah. Well we will be talking about Hezbollah but not directly. Today we're talking about LAF. If you don't know what LAF stands for, it is the Lebanese Armed Forces. The Lebanese military, essentially. The Lebanese Armed Forces receive a significant portion of funding from the United States. Now, the theory goes thus, that if we support the LAF, if we fund them, this will bring stability to Lebanon. It will prevent terrorist groups like Hezbollah asserting influence. It will stabilize the country and create one national military, which is the strongest, most powerful fighting force in Lebanon. So as far back as 2019, Kufi has been highlighting that US support for the Lebanese armed forces is hugely problematic. Why? Because of their very close and interwoven relationship with Hezbollah. Significantly, Hezbollah were behind the 1983 Beirut bombing of the Marine Barracks, which killed the largest number of Marines since the Second World War. And by funding the Lebanese Armed Forces, we are essentially providing funds and material support to Hezbollah indirectly. Now, why I'm bringing this all up now is because during the budget vote last week, a measure was brought to the floor that would have ended US funding of the Lebanese Armed Forces. The vote sadly failed, but for the first time, a majority of House GOP voted against the aid, which is, which is pretty significant. Sadly, there is this entrenched thinking within foreign policy circles, within our government circles, throughout different administrations, that by providing funds to the LAF, by essentially coercing Beirut through American dollars, we can maintain stability in the region. We're completely ignoring the ground realities in Lebanon. We're ignoring that we're empowering and creating a stronger Hezbollah, which is going to be a long-term problem, not only for our ally Israel, but also for the United States. Look, Hezbollah have a significant number of seats in the parliament of Lebanon giving them control over key ministries. To pretend they wouldn't be involved with the Lebanese armed forces on this basis alone would be absolutely preposterous. There's been numerous reports of coordination between the Lebanese armed forces and Hezbollah. There's been examples of the Lebanese armed forces informing and essentially asking Hezbollah for permission before entering or crossing through Lebanese villages or towns on the border with Israel. Furthermore, the terror tunnels that Israel discovered going from Lebanon into Israel to allow Hezbollah to send fighters into Israel for terror attacks and for bigger operations that they had planned happened directly under the noses of the LAF. How is that even possible? This is a, a large scale operation and these tunnels went on for a significant distance. It's absolutely impossible that the Lebanese armed forces did not see this happening, that they were completely blind to it. Yet, by continuing this funding, by continuing to fund LAF with US dollars, we are exasperating the problem and giving Hezbollah a stronger platform. We're empowering our enemies, because when we empower Hezbollah, we empower Iran. This is not something we should be funding. It doesn't make sense. And we're not seeing stability in Lebanon. We've seen quite the opposite. What the funding was meant to achieve, it's done the opposite. And rather than rid the country of groups like Hezbollah, it strengthened them. And this is bringing misery to the region. It's brought misery to Israelis. It's brought misery to Syrians. And it's bringing misery to the people of Lebanon. I pray that our leaders realize how futile this funding is to LAF and we find a better way. It's Kasim Hafiz for the Kufi Weekly. Until next week, for Zion's sake, do not remain silent.
Thanks for checking out this episode. Be sure to like and subscribe so you get a notification every time a new episode hits. And if you want to check out some of our previous episodes, and we've got some really good ones, click on one of the thumbnails and that will take you right there. And finally, if you want to know more about KuFi and the work we do, go to kufi.org to check out all the resources we have available free to you.